Hey, how you doing guys? I'm back with another Sword Purse 2 video. And today I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about the Sword Burst 2 damage glitch. Including how to prevent getting the damage glitch, which is probably the most important one. If you have the damage glitch, how to get rid of it. And the last one is why you actually get the damage glitch. Uh, let me kill this mob really quick. Actually, I'm not even going to kill it. I'm just going to lead it to another person. And let's get right into this video. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so some of you may be wondering what the damage glitch actually is. And I'll just give a really quick explanation. It's basically where you can't do any damage anymore. It happens randomly or so it seems. But I actually figured out why this happens and I'm here to tell you why. So let's get right into that. So the first thing you need to know about the glitch is why the glitch actually happens. So the actual glitch happens due to overpopulation on one mob, which is why you get it so many times on, for say, the floor 10 mini boss or the floor 10 boss. So what I mean by this is when 10 people are attacking one boss or one mob, at once and you're seeing like all these little orange lines and all these pvp disabled texts that's when the glitch is most likely going to happen so i'll teach you how to prevent it in two seconds okay let's get into number two which is how to prevent the glitch from happening okay so as you can see on the screen now I'm at the floor 10 mini boss and there are quite a few people fighting the mini boss here. Okay, so look at this clip and try to notice what I'm doing. I'm kind of bobbing in and out of hitting him with my sword and then every now and then I'll throw an arc slash at him which is my katana's ability. Now I'm doing this so not all of us are attacking at once so I don't get the damage glitch. As I said when I was explaining why the glitch happens, it's because all those little orange lines on your screen and when it says PvP disabled or whatever on your screen, when all of those are appearing on your screen, that's when the glitch happens. So by staying back and only hitting him with your arc slash and hitting him with your sword only every once in a while, you're kind of minimalizing the effects of those little orange slashes on your screen and the PvP disabled. Now, I was very prone before learning how to prevent this to getting the damage glitch. I would get it all the time, every time I was at any boss. And ever since I learned this glitch, I haven't gotten it once and it's been like a full two days. Okay, so let's get into the third and final thing you need to know about the glitch, which is how to get rid of it. So this is the easiest one. This is um, how to get rid of the glitch. And all you have to do is leave the game and rejoin the game. It's really annoying when you have the glitch because you may be at the boss and then you have to run all the way back to the boss. But it's the only way to get rid of the glitch when you have it. So I recommend you uh, do what I said and do what I said to prevent the glitch. So you don't get the glitch. But yes, you just have to leave the game and rejoin the game. Okay guys, so that was everything you need to know about the damage glitch in Sword Burst 2. Um, don't forget to leave a like if this helped you and subscribe if you want to see more content tomorrow I might be posting all my legendary drops from bosses within a three-day period uh, But yeah, that was the whole video. I hope you enjoyed and Yeah, see you guys later <laughs>